Hey friends, as many of you know, I compete in the sport of bodybuilding and in the last couple months or so I had to take a break from working out, do some, some medical stuff and so I put myself on a program with uh, nutrition as well as working out to just kind of get back on track and I was really diligent and something happened to me for one week where I gained five pounds legit and I was following my program just fine and I think I figured out what it was so I wanted to share with you. If you don't know who I am, guys, my name is Gia, and I just love to eat, laugh, and lift. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, so what happened? I was, I have this nutrition and workout program that I was, I created for myself, and I was doing really well, right? And then one week, I stepped on the scale, and I don't normally weigh myself except for this um, exercise that I'm going through, or this kind of mini regaining my strength thing that I'm going through. Um, and I gained five pounds. That has legit <laughs> never happened to me before ever in my life. Um, so it was a real shocker to me. And so I instantly, of course, went to overthink mode. What did I do? Da -da -da this? Am I eating too much? The easy thing or the immediate thing that I thought of is like, maybe I need to lower my calories. Maybe I need to up my cardio. Blah, 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 blah. But at that moment, you have to really take a step back and let those emotions kind of go in your head and go back out, right? Because if you're following a nutrition program and a training program that's designed specifically for you, maybe there's something else that's going on, right? So I did have to take a step back. And what happened when I gained the five pounds is I, I could feel it. I could feel it in my body. My waist felt swollen. My cheeks felt swollen. My arms felt swollen. I couldn't see as much definition as I normally see in my body. And so... And my measurements, by the way, were also higher that week that I gained five pounds than obviously the week prior. So I took a step back and I kind of just wondered, what is it that was probably causing this weight gain, this like instant weight gain? It definitely couldn't be fat because I couldn't gain five pounds of fat in one week. That's kind of impossible for me. So it had to be a lot of water retention, right? And... That's one way to think about it and keep myself from like getting overstressed about the whole idea of going backwards of what I was trying to accomplish. And so I thought about, well, what could be causing water retention? Lack of sleep. I always lack sleep, so it couldn't possibly be that. Did I maybe have so much sodium the last few days that I just never sweated out? That was a possibility as well. And then I started realizing the foods that I was eating. So over the last uh, few weeks, guys, I've been testing out a new um, bread recipes um, and these are just protein bread recipes but they also come with flour and sugar and because there are they are also protein bread recipes the majority of my protein I was getting from this bread which also has flour and sugar right um, and what that means is I was primarily relying on this bread for my protein but because the flours and sugars were tacked onto it those were also taking up the carbohydrates from my day so it was processed sugars that were causing the issue for me. Uh, the reason behind that, guys, is sugars are, are good for you in a balance, right? Like everything is good for you. Uh, it, water is good for you, but if you try to chug a gallon of water in a sitting or in, in like instantly at once, not good for you. <laughs> you could OD on way too much water at once, right? So what happens for me? when I consume way too much processed sugars. By the way, I keep saying processed sugars because it's different from sugars that come from like a strawberry or an orange or mango, right? Because those are tied to vitamins and minerals and fiber. Those are different kinds of sugars. Processed sugar means white sugar, maple syrup, um, sugars that are in chocolate, those kind of things, right? Um, so if you think about what sugar does, sugar feeds yeast. Uh, and yeast, there's a good healthy amount of yeast in your body, right? Um, when you have to, when you, the amount of yeast that you have in your body also is um, complemented or works well the amount of bacteria that you have in your body. So if you have the right amount of bacteria and the right amount of yeast, everything balances itself out. But when you have too much sugar, like I did for like weeks on end, like legit, I was eating like a loaf and a half of bread every two days or so. That's too much. Um, what happens is all of that sugar feeds the yeast, right? And your body do doesn't, in that small span of time, doesn't have enough bacteria to combat the yeast. And what you get there is a yeast overgrowth. 
Um, you guys will maybe refer to it as candida overgrowth, look it up. And for me, the way my body responds is I, one, get super tired. So it doesn't, it doesn't have to be that I was was lacking sleep but there was this level of tired that I just didn't understand right it was just like I could sleep eight hours seven hours but I would just wake up like and I would be like that for the whole day doesn't matter how much caffeine I drank it just <laughs> um and then of course the whole swelling thing so I would retain water I would bloat I would swell and those were some of the symptoms that I got from eating too much sugar now on top of eating the sugar and having the yeast imbalance in my body, the other thing that can happen, guys, is if you're not utilizing all the sugars and all the energy that you're consuming in the form of sugars and proteins and fat, whatever, um, you can actually store that in your body. Sugars, carbohydrates, store as glycogen stores in your body, right? So um, you can see yourself, if you eat, for example, tons of pasta or tons of sugar the day the day before and you don't exercise it off or something, you could feel yourself swelling because it's storing in your body as glycogen stores. So there's a couple of things that could potentially happen, right? I was eating so much sugar that I had a yeast imbalance and I started swelling because my body was just like, this is just too much. I need to push things out. Um, Darla just had her four teeth extracted today and she doesn't know what to do with life. So she she's crying. She doesn't really cry, but poor Darla. Um, anywho. So that's the, that's what was happening to me. So what I did was I, I decided I'm going to keep my nutrition and my workouts just as is. And for the next week, I'm just going to be very cognizant of how much sugar, processed sugars I eat. And what happened, guys, I lost six pounds. Um, and it was six pounds of water weight, right? Water retention. And so what I would say to you guys is if you go through a week where you just feel like crapola, and you don't know what you're doing, but you're doing everything right, but the scale's not going in the right direction, don't overthink it. Take a step back and think, what did I do this last week that was different from the prior weeks? Because it could have been something like what I did. And if you overthink it and you drastically change out your workout or drop your nutrition, that may not be the good a good solution for you too. So just think about that, guys. That, I mean, that's really kind of just it, guys. That's all I wanted to share with you. Um, I am still going to do my formal check-in with you guys with my physique in the next week or two. Um, uh, things like this obviously have been a setback for me because I had to use it in another week to like undo that watershed. So we'll see what it goes. Anyways, I'm just still focusing on having fun with my nutrition, having fun with my workouts, doing things in a fashion that is just the most fun for me because that's what I just love to do. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope that was helpful. Never overthink something when you've been doing your program, you've been following your program really closely. Take a step back, assess the situation. There could be so many factors that are affecting it, including things like stress and lack of sleep, or maybe too much sodium consumption. If you guys have questions on these things, or maybe if has this happened to you before, let me know. Put in the comments below. I'd like to see if there's kind of kindred folks out there that have experienced the things that I have as well. Um, but I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Thank you so much for your support. And if you do find this kind of stuff helpful, uh, put it in the comments below or hit that like button. Let me know that I should keep making content like this, guys. All right, <laughs> that's it. Bye guys, have a great day. See ya. Bum, bum, bum.